want to talk to you guys about something that's been happening to me for like the last three months uh three to four months i want to say um you guys know that i have been off testosterone so with that comes with some of the things that i had to deal with when i was pre-t which is your fucking your period i'm sorry if I, it, but it is what it is literally bro the other day my girlfriend was like bro like don't get so mad that i call it a fucking period because it is a fucking period and i was like honestly bro you right like you kind of got to stop associating it just with fucking women because niggas bleed too bro because i'm over here and i'm a whole ass nigga and you feel me it happens i get a fucking period bro like what the fuck i don't, I don't give a fuck um when you start carrying and like making everything so like uh then then they know that just perpetuates it more like just stop giving a fuck i really don't give a fuck like yes bitch i bleed so what so basically this has been happening to me for a while ever since i went off of tea that shit has came back full force um yeah, so after the egg retrieval process, it was bad as fuck. Like, I was bleeding a lot. It was really, really, really bad for, like, yeah, a couple of days. And um, I had thought I was going to go away this month because I had been on tea for a while. Like, I'm already, you guys see me, I already look masculine. Like, I felt like I was going back to normal. But I got it again, and it just finished, like, yesterday, to be honest with you. Like, today, yesterday-ish type shit. And, like, I just want to, like, tell y'all it's okay. Um... I do have a lot of dysphoria when I get it just because not even just because I have it but like when that time comes around my mental state changes like I get really like sad or like irritable and like very self-conscious about myself and I noticed that so I just want to tell you it's okay to feel like that obviously I don't like feeling like this I'm already doing things to um get rid of this problem i guess you can say it is it's a it's a problem because i don't i don't like this but it's okay that you feel those feelings and all that stuff so personally for me my doctor recommended that um okay so i had got my hormone levels checked last week because i was like hey doctor why am i bleeding i'm on testosterone blah blah right so she told me that my t levels were high me and my doctor have kind of decided on is um when i was doing the egg preservation thing they put me on lupron which is something that lowers your estrogen level so obviously i'm bleeding because my estrogen level is too high right so she was suggesting that um now i'm supposed to go to see someone in gynecology to try to see what um exactly they want to do with me i don't know hopefully this like just it just stops by itself but i really don't know for sure i know that it was the egg preservation thing that kind of you know made my period come back full blown because bro i was put on so many injections that raised my estrogen levels like to crazy amounts because think about it normally a female is only supposed to have one egg per month that's why you guys have periods or whatever right but i had like 16 eggs like they they grew 16 eggs inside of me so there was like one egg gives off a lot of estrogen so just imagine the amount of estrogen that was in my body if i had 16 eggs like that's how many they retrieved out of me i think 16 or 18 something like that or maybe more i honestly don't know but just imagine the amount of estrogen that was in my body so it's gonna take some time for that to go out so i think that's probably why i'm still bleeding if any of you guys are going through this like all i gotta say is talk to your doctor if you have been on tea for more than three months and you're still experiencing bleeding it also could just be your genetics and like how the tea works with your body whatever right but um ultimately what's really gonna help you get through this is like you just gotta take care of your mental health realize that you don't hate yourself you don't hate how you look it's just like those PMSing thoughts really fuck with you. Like they really fuck with you. Like like I said, bro, for the last week when I was bleeding and shit, I felt like I was ugly. I felt like I had no gains. I felt like I was like a fucking woman. Um, I just felt like shit. I thought that um, I'm not doing anything in my life. Like just the most negative thoughts occurred. So yeah, y'all don't let that shit get to you. Just understand that you're going through it and it'll pass and shit like that. Um, with the actual bleeding itself, that's a tough one i don't like putting nothing inside of me because like i don't do that i'm not i'm not doing that i used to do that but honestly being on tea it makes your shit dry as fuck so you're not like nothing is nothing is going there bro nothing um it also makes me dysphoric to have shit like they're kind of sort of so i don't even want to do that i don't even want to you know fuel up a fire of dysphoria within me so honestly i just use fucking pads um yeah i i just use fucking pads bro i was watching sean's video if y'all don't know him sean rosaya bernier 
Um, and he was saying that back when he was like preteen shit, he would just use toilet paper, like ball of toilet paper and put it right there. I would do that shit too because it's like the least dysphoria inducing method. I know that sounds really unsanitary and weird, but I'm being honest with y'all, so. Yeah, but I feel you on that, bro, if you're watching this. Um, I definitely did that shit too. But I can just recommend use pads. Um, don't go out of your house just because I get anxious as fuck. Like, bro, they probably know I'm bleeding. Like, bro, I probably got blood on my ass or something. So, like, I kind of just stay home um, and, you know, just do what I got to do. I can't work out either. Um, like, in lifting any type of weights makes it worse. Like, I get the worst cramps. It's like the type of cramps. Oh, hell no. I fuck with Fetty Wap on this song, but not 6 9 Fuck 6 9 Yeah, but I get, like, the worst type of cramps. It's like the cramps that I got when I was on... um when I was going through the egg preservation thing, and I'm gonna insert the clip, cause I never showed y'all how bad, like, I'm gonna show y'all how I. These last couple days after the surgery have been hell. Cramps that I get are just like, I have never felt no shit like this. I'm, I just got this heating pad on me right now. I'm trying to chill. Um, I move and it hurts, like, bad. Like, I don't think I can do anything today. I went to the gym yesterday, cause it wasn't hurting that bad, and then, as soon as I got home from the gym, it's just pain. That's why I'm talking kind of like droopy and shit. I'm like out of it, man. Like, I don't want to be here to experience this pain. It's so bad. I want to put this in there not to, like, deter y'all from doing this process or to scare y'all, but this is what you got to deal with after. But um, I, I do know that this was really bad for me, like the cramps and all this shit, because they took out 35 eggs for me. Yeah, so that's a lot, way more than like the typical. Well, I get cramps like that, not as bad, but damn near close. And um, yeah, I don't like taking pills either, so I kind of just like tough through the pain. Y'all don't gotta do that. Y'all can take pills. Don't be like me and suffer through the pain. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about how to deal with your period, how to you know whatever, just ask me. Do not hesitate to ask me. I'm here to help y'all. Yeah. So thank y'all for watching. Oh, wait, 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 look. My camera's about to die, so if it dies again, fuck it. I literally charged it for like a minute just so I could record the outro and shit, but bro, my girlfriend got me a fucking, a GoPro, bro. Just watch, bro. I think I want to like make a little video testing out shit. Like the quality, bro. She got me the Hero Pro 10, bro. No, oh, just stay tuned, just stay tuned. Okay, it's raining and my bunny is outside, so I'm gonna go get him. But thank y'all for watching. Um, I hope this helps some people. Just kind of getting some insight on how I deal with periods and shit. Fuck periods though, cause like, I don't like them. Like I don't, I don't like it, but it happens, so I'm gonna talk about it. But it's not ideal. So, but yeah, catch y'all later. Merry Christmas, happy, happy New Year, all that shit. See ya.